Today, we're going to look at how to program an Orbo i5 collaborative robot. There are two main methods of control. There are the buttons on the pendant, as well as the free drive button. On the pendant, we have position control. We can move down in the z-axis, up in the z-axis, positively in the x-axis, negatively in the x-axis, negatively in the y-axis, and then positively in the y-axis. There is also orientation control. We can move positively about the x-axis, negatively about the x-axis, negatively about the y-axis, positively about the y-axis, negatively about the z-axis and positively about the z-axis. Finally, there is joint control. We can move each joint individually. We can move joint one negatively and positively and the same with all of the other joints as well. To activate free drive or force control mode, push this button in one click and hold it. You can now move the robot freely To begin programming, press the programming button at the top of the screen. On the left you will see project with new, load, save and default. New will create a new program, load allows you to load a previous program, you can save the current program you are working on and default will load a program when you turn on the robot. You can also create procedures. Procedures are essentially subroutines, small bits of a program that you can put into multiple programs instead of typing out the same thing repeatedly. Under condition is where we write most of our program. On the left you can see the program tree and on the right you can see some basic conditions like loop, if, move and wait. The first thing we need to do is create a home position. To do this we need to add a move function. Under the basic conditions click the move button and it should appear in the program tree. Click this to open up the parameters for this move. Now move joint which will move the robot to that position as efficiently as possible. Move line which will move the robot in a straight line to that position. There are also several other parameters like speed that can be adjusted. When you're satisfied with this move click confirm in the bottom right hand corner. As you can see in the program tree, a waypoint has been created underneath the move. To edit this, click on it in the program tree and then click set waypoint. The robot teaching page has now been opened and we can use the buttons on the screen or the free drive button to control the robot as shown earlier. When satisfied with the position, click confirm in the bottom right hand corner. Then click confirm again to lock this position into the program. Now that we have our home position, we need the main body of the program. We're going to put this inside a loop condition so that the program will run continuously. To do this, click basic on the left hand side and you should get the basic condition screen. Find loop and push it and it should appear in the program tree. By clicking this, you can then edit the parameters of the loop. You can set it to loop continuously loop a certain amount of times, or loop until a certain condition is met. For this program, we want it to loop continuously. Push confirm to save this loop into the program. Once this has been saved, anything we add now will be inside this loop. We want to add a move first, so we're going to click move under basic conditions again. And then as before, we're going to go into the move parameters and save them. We then add a waypoint and we're going to do this by clicking on the waypoint, going set waypoint and then using the buttons on the pendant to move the robot into the position we would like. Once the robot is in the correct position, click the confirm button 
and then click the confirm button again and then a position will be locked into the program. Now this waypoint is in place, we need to add another waypoint immediately after. To do this, click add after while you have selected the previous waypoint. This will now create a new waypoint and you can click on this like before to adjust its parameters. Go into set waypoint and move this to the position you would like. And then click confirm and then confirm again. The next step is to add the rest of our waypoints. I will speed up this process as it's the same method that we have just demonstrated repeated multiple times. Instead of programming the same waypoint multiple times, we can copy and paste so that we can go back to an old waypoint whenever we need. This is demonstrated here. When you are ready to play your program, click start in the bottom left. It will then prompt you to save your program before you can play it. Type in what you want to call your program at the top and then click save. Once you've done this, click start again. You will now need to move the robot to the home position. You can push auto to move it there slowly or you can push manual to do it yourself. Once the robot is in position, the OK button will become available. Press this and then push start one more time and the robot will begin its movements. And that's how easy it is to program an Orbo i5 collaborative robot.